In this video, we are going to learn about exterior angles and two theorems related to them. First, let's figure out what an exterior angle is. If I were to draw a pentagon, although it could be any polygon, an interior angle is on the inside of the shape. An exterior angle will be on the outside of the shape. So the way you get an exterior angle is to extend one of the sides of the shape and then the angle created on the outside is an exterior angle. Every shape will have as many exterior angles as it does sides. So this pentagon has five exterior angles because if we go around there are five sides to extend, and each of them will create an exterior angle. If the shape has all the sides being the same length, then all the exterior angles will be the same measure. But if not, there's still an interesting relationship between all the exterior angles. And this is one of the first theorems. So the first theorem says the sum of the exterior angles is always 360 degrees. And this is for any polygon, not just a pentagon. So that works for triangles, that works for quadrilaterals, hexagons, any polygon. The sum of its exterior angles is 360 degrees. So that means if you know all the exterior angles are the same measure to figure out just one of them, you would do 360 divided by how many sides there are. If the angles are different measures, then all you can know is that they add up to 360. Now another interesting thing about exterior angles has to do with a triangle. So we're going to draw a picture here and try to derive this second theorem. So I'm going to draw a triangle and one exterior angle over here, which I'm going to call X. In the triangle, the three angles I'm going to call A, B, and C. So this second theorem will say that uh, the measure of angle X equals the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C. In other words, an outside angle, an exterior angle, will equal the same thing as the sum of the other two angles in the triangle not touching the exterior angle. So these are called the remote interior angles. Now, I told you what it is, now let's think about why, okay? So in this picture, we know two things, at least. We know that the measure of angle X plus the measure of angle A equals 180 degrees. And we know that because these two angles are a linear pair. So they make a straight line, so they have to equal 180 degrees. Now we also know, because of the triangle sum theorem, that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C also equals 180 degrees. Now if we combine these two equations together, we'll end up with this result that I said earlier, that angle X has to equal measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C. So to get this, what you want to do is subtract the measure of angle A from both sides of each equation. So the first equation, when you do that, becomes the measure of angle X equals 180 minus the measure of angle A. When you minus the angle A from both sides, that's what you get. Now for the second equation, if you minus angle A from both sides, you get the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C equals 180 minus the measure of angle A. Now what you should notice here is that we have 180 minus angle A in both cases, which means that the measure of angle X has to equal the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C because they both equal 180 minus the measure of angle A. The main thing you should remember is in a situation like this where you have a triangle and one exterior angle, the measure of this angle will always be the same as the sum of the two remote interior angles.